What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein. From what I could gather, Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is... I was sent to kill Freisinger. There's gotta be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course, you have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. Break this up. I ain't gonna be the next sacrifice in your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Lucas. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. You killing each other now, are you? Zuluk! Zuluk! from a Negro is. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what color his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. It was more like master-servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, princess? I'm savoring the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course you are, your highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're going to want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read them and weep. Oh. Fucking donkey! No way! Uh, why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hems, we thought... You thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. 
You rats follow me. Try and act like real soldiers for once. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Three. See, that's what a real soldier looks like, mate. <laughs> oh, what a way to stand up to him, Bluey. Good job, buddy. Fuck off, Des. What's he even doing here in the first place, huh? He's a major. He can do whatever he wants. You're lucky. I was about to make me come back. Shut up, Des. You've never beat me at anything. What? Ah, oh, mate, pull the other one. The explosives are ready. Lucas and I set them ourselves. Sir? Man your position. The timing must be perfect. I need you all to focus. You got eyes on them? Look out over there. Hang on now. What's that in the lead? I said be quiet. Ah, ah, ah. I'll do the honors. Thank you. Yep. Sir. Mark is that first rock. Yes, I know. That's a tank. Well, Germans have tanks, Private. Uh, but the armor's too thick. We didn't pack for a tank. Bloody hell. Hit the treads. It's the only way you're going to stop I, it. I, I need to focus. No, 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 sir. Wait for the treads. No, no, wait! You distracted me. Fuck me, dear. They think it's a mine. Mm -hmm. Lucas! Bet you could throw a banger into that tank's hatch. Give her a canate! No! Raid and half the supplies we wanted have gone up in smoke. Sir, there's still one truck down the ridge. Well, then take some rats and get after them, Jacobs. Let's go. No good for sniffing around the dirt. The better, mate. Fresh blood. Follow it. Fucking genius idea, Jacobs. That's sir. The name's Des, and that's Lucas, and neither of us give a fuck about your rank. We all know about you, Jacobs. Us rap. Quiet. You hear? Who's he shouting to? This way. Oi! 
have design on our maps. Keep down. We aren't equipped for this. We can take them. Are you mad? You got me and Lucas. Then we're leaving. Hey, I found something. You read Kraut? A little. Of course he does. It looks like one of Rommel's officers checked through here to visit a camp up the way. I don't know what kind, I don't recognize these symbols. Then we go take a look. The Kraut's just lit up the sky, more could be coming. No, we return to base, report to the Major. We can't report a thing if we don't know what it is. That wouldn't be good soldiering, Jacobs. Fine. We'll scope it out. Let's tread quietly this time. This road should take us directly to the camp. out looking for us.
Deutsche in unserer Nähe. Sie wollen ausbrechen. Feindliches Maschinengewehr. I'm the only way, you dickhead. That's enough, Des. This isn't a joke. I need a drink. Talk with your man, Hans. He's got plenty. What? He's never shared a sip from his fancy flask? Well, there should be plenty to go around. He's a bloody lightweight. If I ever get my hands on that wanker's flask... <laughs> why shout, fellas? Hang on. There's a light up ahead. Looks like we found the German camp. Where is everybody? Probably out looking for us, I reckon. Hold on, what's all this? Who cares? Look at this. I think the chap on the left is wrong. Who's the fancy bugger? Seriously? We're gathering intelligence. Something you obviously lack, Private. Hilarious. You sort your papers. You know what I see? I see a ton of shit outside that goes boom. Now, what do you suppose we should do about that? Uh, well, we should blow it the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I call target rich. Motor pool on the left. Ammo dump just ahead. Gas depot on the right, just asking to be lit up.
from the inside!
He's circling around! of Italian Libya, an Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their action should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Hams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. Oh, I caught tunnels. What was the rest? We have very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now, or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a chap. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa, but it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating it up.